everybody this is Anubhav here and today I'm going to be giving you guys the top 10 must have root applications for your Android device. So without any further ado let's get started. Now last time I did, I did a video like this and the views were crazy and I just gave you guys a little insight about what is root and some basic applications for your root and android device if you want to check that video out I'll leave a link in the description but today's video is going to be a bit more professional there are going to be applications which are going to take your root device to the next level so without any further ado let's get right into it the first application is Bahoot Boot Animations this application allows you to configure your boot animation from a wide array of different boot animations which you can view before applying them. For instance, if we select this colorful circles boot animation, it just click on it and it's gonna load the boot animation up. You can see this is the boot animation you can hit fit or stretch according to your device's thing. If you want to install it, just click on this install button and it will be done. But for now, we'll just cross it up. Now going back, and swiping from the left, you will notice the dashboard, which is basically this popular, latest, and the ones if you have created, if you want to upload. So if we go into popular, you notice different types of boot animations categorized upon the time, today, yesterday, this week, this month, and the last 24 hours. This is a really nice application for customizing your Android device and just to make your device feel like it's your own. Overall, a great boot animation application. Second rooted app is Amplify. Amplify basically saves your battery life to a huge extent. If you can open it up, you will notice your device's stats, your global stats and Karma is basically support your developer. Swiping from the left will give you weight clocks, alarms and services. From here, you can configure different applications and see which applications are hogging up your battery the most and you can just click on them and once you open this application up, it's gonna save your, I mean, save your device's settings and, you know, give you better battery life. Clicking on this refresh button right here refreshes everything and shows you the new intel it has provided from the, you know, the application. Now getting into these settings, you can change the theme, choose the launcher icon, force English, reset to defaults, and you can see the developer credit and basically the credits about who made it and stuff like that. Overall, a great battery saver application with material design. The third application is called App Ops. Basically, App Ops allow you to configure permissions for each and every Android device. Opening it up, you'll notice different categories such as location, personal, messaging, media, device. From here, you can select any application which you feel like, for example, Textra, and you can see all the permissions it uses. Now, on Android M Developer Preview, you can do this without root, but if you want to do it now, you can just use this application. And for example, if I don't want to record audio, I can just turn it off. And while turning it off, this app won't be able to record audio. So it's a great way to handle, you know, different types of uh, permissions for your Android applications and restricting applications which you do not want to access the internet, the volume, the contacts and many stuff like that. Overall, a great rooted app and also free. The fourth rooted app is known as Font Installer. Font Installer allows you to install different types of fonts on your Android device, again, to customize your device. Clicking on a font such as this one will give you the option to preview it, install it, send it to someone on favorite it. If you hit on preview, it's going to show you how it's going to look on different font sizes. And in order to install it, just click on this install button. And after that, you'll need to reboot your device and you'll find the font you were looking for and install it. Now, opening it up, once again, you will notice three categories on the top. Local, which is basically the fonts you have downloaded and you can select from your file manager. Server, which is the server of this application and you can browse and download millions of, you know, fonts. And preview, which basically shows the preview. And if you go into the settings, you can toggle the previews, preferences. And if you go into preferences, you can select the install path, select fonts and the font phrase. You can even configure the font phrase. So we have the quick green Android jumps over the apple, which is a bit of sarcasm and it's really cool. So that was font installer. The second or the next rooted application is Force 2 SD Lite. Now there is a pro version of this application and this application only allows you to move five apps to your SD or external storage. However, if you download the uh, 
Pro application, it will allow you to transfer all the applications. Basically, Force to SD allows you to transfer SD apps to the SD card even if they don't support it. Just click on it and just hit yes and it's going to move to the SD card and you can see that it has been moved. Now overall, it's a really nice app for managing your device's storage and it does the job just perfect. You can even check for off and check which is not on Wallipop and app new method is new method and view the license and stuff like that. Overall, a very nice application for saving your device's storage. You can even configure move to SD or move from SD and overall, it's just a great application in every manner we have ever seen. The next application is a pretty cool application called GMD Gestures. GMD Gestures allow you to have iPhone-like gestures on your Android device. After you open it up, just switch on and you can see the notification telling you that it's on. Now you can see we have several gestures here. Home is for pinch, back is down. So if you can see we do a tri sprint, you can see that we go back. Opening up the application, again, if you do a 4-pinch like on iPad, you go home. Overall, it's a really nice application. You can also select the new application, the old application, and you can see from here we have this kind of multitasking tray from which we can select the other applications, as you can see. So overall, a very nice application to switch into apps and, again, give that iPad feel to your tablet. Now, this is very useful for tablets. Clicking on the plus button will uh, help you to edit a gesture. You can start the gesture point, select the option, or even select the power app options. You can also select advanced options if you want to do it your way. Getting into the settings, you can select notification, light theme, start on boot, power app settings, gestures, the vibration of the gestures, border events, multi-touch points, and much more stuff like that. Overall, a great root application for your Android device. The next root application is called root browser. Root browser is basically your file manager for your rooted Android device. This allows you to install and update your build prop and every part of your Android device as you can see. Now you can update the system files, the storage files, the SD card files, you can go to your root and much more stuff like that. Overall, a great root application, which I feel, yeah, as you can see, you have to grant root access, and you can just, uh, you know, browse around with it and play with it. However, you can even add different build prop properties to your Android device to change different aspects of it. Overall, a very nice root application for browsing the files on your device. The next application is called root in uninstaller free. Root uninstaller free allows to delete applications from your Android device. Over here you can see it allows to delete the bloatware which is undeletable on your Android device. After it's done just hit back and this should basically go. As you can see it's a free version so it's buy to ads. As you can see all of these uh, do it later stuff which is basically bloatware. Again if you have a Samsung device you also have some bloatware such as S Connect, S Stuff and all that. So you can just uninstall it by clicking on it here and it's gonna uninstall now it's again a great application to you know d remove your device's storage and make your device more snappier you can also move the third-party apps which you can move anyways also some of them are not unstressable and you can uninstall them you can install applications and you can also pick apps as you can see and getting into these settings you will see you have an option to auto backup you can set a Dropbox backup you can change the language you can view their Google Analytics privacy policy and you can view some information about the application itself Again, a great application to manage your storage and overall a bomb. <laughs> yep, a bomb. So the next application is X Booster Free. X Booster allows you to boost your Android device, which basically means removing your RAM so that your device becomes snappier. Opening it up for the first time, you will notice two modes: multitasking mode and gaming mode. If you want to do some gaming, just hit on gaming mode and hit quick boost. Now you can see it's just gonna boost it and you can see the total memory available. Now believe it or not this application really works and it has really helped me for improving the performance on my device and if you have f low RAM like 512 MB so you might want to use this application if you're rooted. Now getting into these settings you can apply on boot, show notification, restore default settings, skill system apps and also upgrade to the pro version and again view some information about the app itself. Overall a great application for your rooted Android device and feel free to try it out since it's all free. The last application is exposed GEL settings. Now GEL basically uh, you know 
uh, GNL basically is the Google Now Launcher and this application basically allows you to customize the Google Now Launcher the way it was supposed to be. So swiping from the left will give you the several options such as general, Google search bar, app draw, gestures and much more stuff like that. This application will allow you to transfer every single property and customize the parts of the Google Now Launcher like it's Nova Launcher. So you can get that cool Google Now thing and you can also fulfill your customization needs. You can see we have a lot of options here and you can just check it out for yourself. So overall a great application for customizing the Google Now Launcher itself. So that was it for today's videos guys. If you guys liked it leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is Anubhav here signing out and I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay awesome, people.